If you're in an Islamic country, um, you're buying from an Islamic market, or you go to a restaurant that's owned by a Muslim, Islamically, you're not obligated to research and investigate whether this is really halal or not. You're not required. As a precaution, you should. If you have doubts, serious doubts, not some people who doubt everything. If you have serious doubts, you should investigate. Ask, where did you get this from? You know, um, or do you follow the Islamic procedures when it comes to preparing meat? If you have doubts, ask, but you're not required. By Islamic law, you're not required. This is if you're in an Islamic community or from an Islamic shop or from an Islamic restaurant. If you're in a non-Islamic community, um, you go to a restaurant that's Canadian, that's American, that's Western, it's not owned by a Muslim. Or it's owned by a Muslim, the manager let's say is a Muslim, or um, that franchise is being run by a Muslim, but the meat is coming from a non-Muslim company. What do you do in this case? In this case, your obligation is to investigate. If you are confident, you have what's called itma'nan, confident, not 100% certainty, 95% you're confident that this is halal. Either they presented to you a halal certificate, or you asked them and they confirmed to you that the meat is halal, and you ask them, okay, where did you get it from? They tell you, we got it from so-and-so, slaughterhouse. If this gives you yaqeen, itma'nan, it gives you certainty, then certainty in Islam is proof. It's acceptable proof, it's acceptable evidence, and you can eat at that restaurant. But if you don't have certainty, then you cannot eat the meat until you get the certainty. So if you go to a restaurant, for you, it's a 50-50 situation. You really don't know. They could be saying the truth. They could be mistaken. Or you're not even sure what their conditions are. Because there are some non-Muslims, they think halal means there's no pork in it. Especially on some airplanes. When they give you halal food, once I asked on one airline, I don't remember exactly what airline it was, uh, they had a Muslim meal or a halal meal. Now, many airlines will you know, bring halal food that's slaughtered according to Islamic law. But some airlines, I asked them, the flight attendants, and I investigated, I realized that the definition of halal, according to that airline, meant there is no pork, there is no alcohol. That's it. This is their understanding of halal. It's not that they're being dishonest, but that's what they understand of halal. So if you go to a non-Muslim restaurant, then you have to be certain that this food is halal. Ask them. If they said halal, ask them, what is your definition of halal? Do you mean this was prepared from an Islamic slaughterhouse? Was this prepared according to Islamic law? Or do you just mean there's no pork in it? Be specific. Once you investigate, once you ask a few questions, and you feel confident that this is halal, you can eat it. But if you don't have that confidence, you cannot eat it. When a Muslim presents food to you, it's halal if this Muslim did not take it from a non-Muslim. But if you have ilm, if you have knowledge that this restaurant, it's in an Islamic country, but the meat that it's delivering, it's, he's importing from a non-Muslim country, then the rules don't apply.